We're here in the galleries of the St. Louis Art Museum at the exhibition Concealed Layers Uncovering Expressionist Paintings. This exhibition was inspired by a brand new catalog of the museum's collection of German Expressionist paintings that I wrote and is based on years of research on these paintings. Um, the exhibition is a celebration of all of the new conservation discoveries we made in the process of researching and writing that book. The St. Louis Art Museum is home to one of the nation's strongest collections of modern and contemporary German art. And this exhibition celebrates one part of that heritage, specifically our German Expressionist collection. Now, Expressionism is an art movement that appeared in Germany in 1910. and was really the first modern art movement in Germany of the 20th century. The works on view here are some of the absolute masterpieces of that movement. One of the paintings you might recognize from earlier visits to the museum is Ernst Ludwig Kirchner's Circus Rider. For this exhibition, we're showing the painting that's been hiding on its reverse for almost a hundred years. This painting, Dancers with Castanets, has always been on the back, but we're showing it for the first time in this exhibition. So one of the most exciting parts of this exhibition is the way that it takes you below the surface of the paintings to these previously hidden layers that reveal so much about the painting that completely transform how we understand the painting. A good example of that is Carl Schmidt Rotloff's Rising Moon, which is included in the exhibition. With a technique called X-ray fluorescence, otherwise known as XRF, we're able to reconstruct how the artist applied the pigments and in their sequence. Because this artist used pure pigments, paints from the tube, we're able to use a special analyzer and detect signature chemical components in each paint that represent those pigments. And we're able to look really closely and reconstruct the layer in which he applied those paints. So it's almost as if we were standing in the studio next to him and we're watching him apply his blues, his greens, his reds, and his oranges in that vibrant moon. In conservation, we are able to employ a whole array of technical analyses to understand these artworks better. One technique is X-radiography, where we get an X-radiograph showing the interior wooden structure or metallic components of the painting. And sometimes, if we're lucky, it will show an entire underpainting lurking beneath the layers. Another fantastic technique that we can utilize is infrared reflectography. In this mode of looking, some of the paints go transparent where other materials, such as the medium where artists tend to make their design sketches in, remain opaque. So we're absolutely able to see through the painted layers and render visible that underlying sketch. So as we move through the galleries, you'll see lots of examples of the technical analyses. And the technical analysis is answering questions of how these artists constructed these works. This is a reminder of appreciating these artworks as material beings. And with these technical analyses, different modes of looking at using different cameras, sensors, and modes of light, we can unpack those layers and discover how they actually were constructed. We're so excited to present this exhibition, which shows these familiar paintings in a completely new light. Please come out and see the show. It's on view until August 4th here at the St. Louis Art Museum.